Greetings and good day, YouTube. How are you today? I myself am pretty excited to start in a new adventure in Jurassic World Evolution. I have seen a little bit about this game and it reminded me about another game called Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. One of my favorite, I guess, park building games on the PlayStation 2. Because I wasn't primarily a PC gamer at the time. But now, we get to basically learn how similar it is. Well, I get to learn how similar it is to Operation Genesis and just have a fun, chill time. Uh, that's pretty interesting. We'll have to check out those DLCs at some point in the future, but I'm fine with this. Hello. May I say welcome? Oh, this is My weird. name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. That's okay, weird. this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla <clears throat> Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Just diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are. And uh, you want to be ready before you try that. So is the campaign just one big tutorial? Or what? Oh. I'm Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. Neat. You'll start by building a Hammond creation lab. Neat. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side. But watch out for dinosaurs. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur right. facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Wait, there's no path to it. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. Get a path to it, damn it. Oh yeah, no, 400,000. We have 2.7 million. Network of paths and the power grid. So we just click it and go there. Uh, I cannot wait to see what type of pathing tools I'll be able to test, work with. Incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. What are those? There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. Oh, oh. Bring dinosaurs from the Jurassic era to the Jurassic, uh, Jurassic world. The Hammond Creation Lab allows the incubation, modification, and release of dinosaurs into the park. It can be attached directly to enclosure fences. Powered, it needs 10 power as a path. No storm protection. No, not damaged. New genome library. Oh. 44%, 65%. We can't incubate it because we don't have 50%. I know, I remember that from uh, Operation Genesis. You needed at least 50% of the DNA or something like that before you could uh, start trying to incubate the damn dinosaurs. Unless I'm mistaken. The machinations, Attack the ambitious, of three? Wait, what? undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the the last time. There's always a last time and a next. Cool. Skin basic? What? That's weird. Release the dinosaur. 
Well, I figured that much, but... That's new. They're like, obviously it's new to me, but that's... Life that begins the most precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique, and now we, you, just manufacture them. So, well done, I guess. That's awesome. That's so cool. All right, this is one of those games that will end up sucking me in. Uh, tell me the, the next thing on the tutorial. Foundation has three main areas of interest: security, entertainment, and science. Cool. I've already I'll eventually figure all this stuff out on my own, Jazz. To reach out to you personally, they'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. Uh Science, entertainment, and security. We'll start with science. Ah, Dr. Dua. This is our new director of operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operation. Okay. You're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. All right. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. Expedition Center, obtain dinosaur fossils and amber. By this place, dispatching dig teams to sites around the world. How do we rotate? How do we rotate? Uh, Z and X. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But... Like life, it's a balancing act. Oh, God. Each division is vying for your attention. And if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. Why, though? Why would they take it personally? Like, are they going to get so pissed off they're going to try and sabotage the damn, uh, art? That'd be stupid. In real life, shit like that would be so stupid. People think money makes the world go around. But they're wrong. Contracts make the world go around, my friend. Obligations and commitments. Complete a contract and your rep with the science division will increase. Meaning you'll be able to take on more complex and challenging missions. Ooh. Expedition Center. Wait, are you going to read the it off? Expedition Center okay. will allow you to send I just basically shut up and the accept what they're saying. Of new dino fossils. DNA can be extracted dinosaur from these fossils, DNA. which our scientists can then turn into living, breathing dinosaurs. And that's our true lifeblood. Okay, they can send dig teams around the world to find new fossils. It's like the dig site. Oh, yeah, this is Operation Genesis feelings right here. Can we unlock all the dig sites? View expedition map. I've got an interesting opportunity for you to consider. It will allow us to work together to create life. Pure life. If you've been listening to Dr. Malcolm, then you know how important this is to us. And to me. A million dollars just to do this and cardio strength 2.0. Requires more centers expert. Yes. I'm my kind of person, inquisitive, driven, and I knew you couldn't resist this opportunity. So let's get started. 
Together, we can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to because the challenge. Because of the specimens, look at them all. Don't disappoint. Good! Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the you fossil can send two dig teams, it looks like. Oh, we don't have enough available. Research. Oh, God. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. I like the voice acting. That's great. Allow somebody like me to just the research center lets you like take it all in and not have to talk all the time. Ways. New buildings, upgrades, and, again, and more await. I do like talking. Improve, expand. We he just said that. Research new and improved genes. Some items have division reputation requirements that need to be met before they become available. All right. No fossils and closures. Research centers required. Oh, so we need more research centers. Okay. This will allow electrified light steel fences. Arid alpine cosmetic genes. Intuitive learning trait genes. Licensing the gene will increase the attack and resilience traits. We could make a fight pit. We could make a dinosaur fight pit. And I'll, I'll, like, I'll do a Saturday or Sunday special where I go live and we have just dinosaurs fight each other in the fight pit. Yes. Well, I know it's the same voices from the movies, but I, I, I like... It's not just like they didn't phone it in. They're just doing the good. Ah. Oh. Attack and defense from the pit viper DNA. Uh, lifespan and resilience. We probably want to go for lifespan. Medical treatment. Dart medical treatment. Hookworm parasite. ACU. Accuracy. Reload speed. Asset containment. SCP. Standard containment procedure. Three. Zero. Seven. Reduced upkeep. Ooh, that'll probably... Yeah. Reduced cost of upgraded power stations by 4%. Increased total power output of upgraded power stations by 15. Increase, induces a 5% risk of power outage. Oh, God. Uh... You should extract genomes from, power from outage. fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. Ooh, upgraded stuff though. So this is for on for on the ground. This is the ranger team stuff, and this is one extra fossil and mineral to be kept across all island sites. Oh, time's still going as I'm fucking around in here, isn't it? That's awesome. If that's the case. Visitor buildings. We should probably get that. The database. Oh, God. Oh, God. 44 dinosaurs. A whole description about them. Oh, I'm going to enjoy reading all the descriptions of all the dinosaurs. The little sound effects are great. The dig sites. Lots of dig sites. More dig sites than dinosaurs, it almost feels like. No, there's only 33. That's a shame. Jeans. Lots of jeans. Oh my goodness. I'm excited about all this. Locations. Huh. Oh, gameplay pause. Never mind. I've seen that. Mr. DNA. Yeah. Dinosaur DNA. Oh, this- I love games like this. These are some of my favorite types of games to just chill in, you know? We get character bios. Oh. 
I probably shouldn't read all these character bios right now, and I'm not going to. I'm going to try and learn as much as I possibly can. This will probably give us a shit ton. Yeah, a shit ton. Uh, extract. The fossil center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Exciting. I remember one of the things you always want to do is you wanted to keep doing dig site stuff even after you got all the DNA from said dig site because of the fact that this is remember this is my stuff from Operation Genesis what I would do because the dig sites were kind of permanent and they would keep getting stuff for you and then you could just sell them so like in the future if we have 100% Triceratops DNA we could sell it and make half the money back from what it costs for us to go on the dig right and since we got these we'd still have lost some money but the general idea of it is like you could probably make more money by uh, extracting stuff than you would realize. Can we extract all of them at the same time? We can. Okay, we can. Oh, it's a Q. It's a Q. Got it. Love to see it. Profit per minute is minus 8,000. There's a finance window. We need to start making money. Oh god, there's a lot of finance information. We are making great strides so far. I believe I may be on the cusp of something wondrous, and I have you to thank, at least in part, for where I find myself. Now we need to incubate, this is the hatch, control room. and house our dinosaur. Then we will know if our efforts will have been worth it. Island navigation, these are the five. Hey, I'm Isaac. Hey, Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. In the future, possibly. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. I'm not yet sure. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We accept from entertainment, science and security goes down. Oh, that's aggravating. So, one, two, three, four, five. These are the islands of the five deaths. And this is a disassociated one because Isla Nublar, I believe, is from Jurassic Park. Yep. Jurassic World was also built here, but that's pretty cool. Oh. I will, I will definitely have to read all those later. I'm getting too distracted. What are we doing? Profit from guests, 25,000. Incubate and release at 50%. Uh, earn a total of profit. Okay, got it. Guests. What do we have for guests so far? This is a research center. This is a small power station. So it seems like guests will come from this area, and they go past a research center and a, a power station. We could build a emergency shelter, a hotel. Hotel. Oh my God! It's a million dollars for the hotel. They increase visitor capacity. We don't need that right now. A gift shop, fast food, restroom. Probably a fast food and restroom like right off the rip, you know. No, 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 no. Isla uh, Nubar is one. Well, I need to see... Okay, where am I? Hold on. Control room. Uh... Where's my general information?
Force satisfaction. I'm Claire Deering, and I've been on these Hi, islands Claire. before. On Isla Nublar, I made some mistakes, and I've tried to set them right. I believe in what we're doing, and I believe in these dinosaurs. Zoom on the train. So Responsible management of our animals is key, as is creating a safe environment for our visitors. I'm aware of this. Where is dinosaur rate facility rating? Capacity. Oh, we have to have a hotel, I think. Oh, no, never mind. Can we look at how much power we're producing at a time, or do we actually have to look at the power station itself? Ah, 60 output. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. F. We probably should wait to do, like, hotels and stuff like that. Now, sell that for two. Manage staff. One should be good. Management view. Food? Arrival point one, information. No, it doesn't tell me how many people can come. Uh, arrival main gate. Oh God. Monorail arrival tunnel. Two stations, global transport rating 0%. We can rename everything it looks like. That's good to know. Actually, we could probably release a... We don't have 50% genome on that yet. Uh... Oh, cool, cool. So we can look at the map and see everything. Dinosaurs. Vehicles. That's good to know. We can look at the map and see all 12 items. That's good to know. Alright. Rename all. Uh, probably we'll focus more on learning the game before we focus on renaming everything. Uh, we don't need enclosures. We probably should build an ACU station. Oh. God. That's a lot of money. Then again, we're going to get a lot of money for it back. Lifespan 54. No idea what that means exactly, but sure, why not? Uh, this is basically just going to be a pit of dinos. Herbivores, more than likely. Where is... What's the information on you? R. My advice? You need food. Keep your animals well fed. Especially in situations like this. Space to pause. No? No pause. Okay, uh... Fish feeder? Oh, that's interesting. So apparently we can like make an enclosure thing right here and release uh sea creature type things. I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I mean I can refuse it. I mean you can, of course. <laughs> but why would you? Uh take a photograph that includes at least two triceratops specimens.
We need to make a ranger team to do it. I'm almost wanting to deny this. We need pictures of what we are doing here. And a contract is available to reward you for doing so. Look it over. Waiting for him to pop up and say, hey, feed us. Like us. There we go. Different dinosaurs require different diets. Make sure to place the correct type of feeder in an enclosure. I'm a red meat man myself. <laughs> Cool. Cool. So yeah, you have no food and you're literally starving right now because I'm a dumbass. Can you go eat, my friend? Dumbass. There we go. There we go. Release the clock. I mean, the dinosaur. You go in a snap. But all right. I do thank you for stopping by, and I do hope you enjoyed your stay at the kingdom. Until next time, take care, and have a good one. In the future, when I play this and do it free roam, I'm gonna call it the kingdom. I'm gonna call the, like, the map, if we can make a map. Oh, I hope we can make a map. Please tell me we can make a map. That was one of my Our favorite things specimens. about Sorry, Operation Genesis. Are meeting expectations, but we want them to thrive. That's your next assignment. Making sure our specimens are properly cared for. In other words, dinosaur welfare. The difference with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand humans, so don't expect much in the way of thank yous. I've been monitoring what you've been up to Hi, with Henry great Rube. interest, and I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment instead of bringing me into the loop as she should have done. I'll discuss this with her later. Yeah, you're, you're reasonably an asshole. I saw you get eaten. Eaten. In one of the damn movies. Uh, you think we could get away with building the hotel? Adorable. They're holding hands. One of 320 guests, zero of 240 guests. Uh,. Is there a way to like open a thing? I know we need to build a, a ranger station, Triceratops. Incubate and release a Triceratops with 70% genome. Research item from Research Center, Hookworm Parasite. We can do that relatively quickly. First of all, expeditions. Partially depleted. Did I just mess up and spend an extra $75,000 I didn't need to spend? I might have spent more money than I didn't need to spend. Food rating is high. Guests are happy with our current food buildings. $15,000 of profit per... Okay. Medical, hookworm parasites. Monorail station, arcade, tour shop, fossil bar, close. Gift shop, I guess. Oh, God. I 
I love I love watching stuff like this build. Hookworm is researched, operational ranger station. You need more power. Or you need a power station, a it substation. Looks like you run out of power. That's not good. Build oh. more power stations or increase your output. Unused power nine. Power to so oh, okay. No, it's powered right now. No, it's not. Two new fossils. Slap one of these down. Another contract. Might as well give us a look, right? I mean, sure, that's easy. Three 100k in the bag. No power. We're missing one. Okay. Got it. So we do need more power. We could upgrade the station we have now, can we? I'm Owen Grady. Hi, Owen Grady. my friends. Owen. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. That's the not the voice actor. Generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you. That is not that dude. Power is something we simply cannot ignore when it comes to our operations. Without power, we, uh, well, we, we don't have any power. Oh, okay, okay. So, we could research. Are we still researching? No, we're not. Increase power output. Three minutes remaining. Oh, God. Probably. We're probably going to need to build another power station regardless. Oh, management view. Okay, that's what tells us all the information we need. something like that just for shits and giggles uh there we go nice path we need to build a path right over here and there we go so an expedition will be easy to complete, literally just go to the expedition site and partially depleted. Let's go for the Triceratops one focused, or the Triceratops focused one. We could probably end up getting most of the DNA from this. This is one of the reasons why I was making the comment about 
doing expeditions even even when we don't have like when we have 100% DNA release the giant chicken oh we need another triceratops we should probably wait till we get the triceratops DNA get some more viable 70% or something like that <clears throat> uh management view we're making 120 power we're using 161 weather's decent uh emergency shelter we should probably build one like right over here if we can dinosaur visibility 0% we need to figure out a way how to make that higher Low demand for shopping. Food's good. Entertainment's decent for now. Restrooms is good. Food is good. Transport is good. We'll get a lot more guests when we can see more dinosaur visibility, for sure. Uh, probably building a shelter, even if it'll cost us. We have. Okay, we don't have that much money. I just looked over and I saw we're at two hundred thousand dollars. Two hundred thousand dollars. What's our profitability at right now? Profit per minute is five thousand. Is there a way to speed time up in this game? No. Uh. Settings. Rolls. Mouse and keyboard. Head body dinosaur camera W and S. I'll keep that in mind. Um, shortcuts, map placement, space, rotate items, demolish mode, delete, ranger team stuff, ACU helicopter stuff, biosphere. Does not look like we actually have a way to. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have a way to speed up the time itself, actually. I could be mistaken. So, $229,000. I'm gonna try and keep track of that for a minute. Our stars just went down a lot. A little bit annoyed by that. Probably should have waited on the food. Stuff like that. Okay, yeah, it is just going up. That gave us some money. We have enough to make another Triceratops. Yes, this is exactly what we needed. Well done we do. completing that contract. No matter what anyone else says, Science is what makes or breaks us. Admittedly, sometimes Shit. both. But on Isla Matanceros, you are making us and yourself look good. And that's worth a reward. That right there is pretty awesome. We just got $100,000 for digging. So we can send out the... I, I, I'm glad they have a system set up that we're not just going to be getting fossils. So we can send them to depleted dig sites, I bet, to get resources that we could sell. We just need to try and earn profit. We don't have enough money for a hotel, which is fine. An emergency shelter we could purchase, which I think is something we should do. The cover rate of that is pretty damn big, actually, hilariously enough. I mean, this is literally the perfect spot right here for it. So we might as well 
us just to get all of our bases covered. We now need to just chill and wait. Still making money per minute. This challenge looks interesting. And I thought of you first. Use the expedition center to unearth a small or medium herbivore. Fossil. Sure, we're just gonna get a lot of science experience here. information this is fine though profit from gas facilities ah I see what you're wanting nobody's really visiting these places unfortunately they will eventually we got a shit ton of guests Buildings? Closed store. Eh. We'll just chill here for a minute and let our profit go up slowly over time. We need enough to build another Triceratops. We'll get two done. Pretty much one after the other because we're gonna pop that then we're gonna take a picture of the triceratops and we'll go from there uh, It's kind of a slow start It seems But I'm okay with that slow start The reason I'm talking about that is because it's almost been 45 minutes for the YouTube video and I think this would be almost a good time to like Take a little bit of a pause from here, stop the YouTube video, and then start on the second one. So, for those of you that are watching on YouTube, I do thank you for stopping by, and I do hope you enjoyed your stay at the kingdom. And, until next time, take care, and have a good one. Uh, links in the description below. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Catch me when I go live on Twitch at 8pm EST EDT every weekday. With all that stuff done, that's gonna be it for me. So, have a good day, YouTube. I salute thee. Bye-bye.